Hello Captains, this is Metaman. Today we're looking at the Jean Bart in a Tier 9 battle. Um, looking at the, the matchup, you see that we have we have the two fast battleships, which is the Georgia and the Jean Bart. Both have speed boost. And I'm going to type into message here to our Jutlin. Hey, try to keep eyes ahead of us at A and to um, take Alpha because he's going to have the support of the two tier 9 fast battleships. The Jean Bart I consider the tip of the spear. The reasoning is is that she has that fast reload, she has a reload booster, she has the speed booster. The things negative with the Jean Bart is you have the lowest health pool of any of the battleships at tier 9. It's funny that the French have the style that they do in this game because it might have been this way in real life as in them be the faster battleships but in World War II what you think of this style would be more of a blitzkrieg which would be more of the German style and that's the style I like to play in my destroyers and my cruisers in my battleships so the French fit me really well here I would have liked to seen our Georgia head off to the left a, a little bit more so that we can create a crossfire and the reasoning for that is the French they have advantages here I'm getting ready to use my reload booster I'm gonna take over 30,000 away from this Ganais now in this uh, short period of time right here I, I misjudged his speed real quick but as soon as I get his speed down watch what happens to his broadside but the things with the French, you have that speed, you have low health pool, you have low caliber guns. So you need that speed to be able to get to broadsides. You, you have great shell velocity, but you, you have a smaller caliber than, say, the Americans or the Japanese. So you need to get to broadsides to be able to, to punish those ships. This game not this particular game but games overall in world of warships is kills caps and basically time to kill say you get 150,000 damage but it took you all game to get one kill the other team might have killed somebody with that 150,000 damage or less than that because they the other team couldn't heal up and they got to the next battleship and killed them also so it's all about time to kill also Here we're still punishing that Ganais now. We're not in our reload booster, but we're still punishing him. So with the, the French, you need to get to broadsides. You have the speed to get, get through the whole map. As in this map, you're going to see me get... I'm going to grab a portion of all three caps within this game. Here with this gunfire right here, we're going to go ahead and get this kill of this Ganais now. And like I said, moving up to the next kill. Here I'm not going to try to shoot at this uh, Missouri right off the bat. I'm trying to get this cap hoping to disappear. Now we had the fast battleships. They had the radar and the Azumo. So when you're looking at your battle lineup, you're wanting to see what your advantages are. And just like our my name is Meta Man and the name of the clan is Meta. I'm always looking at the Meta and seeing what we can do to take advantage of what the rest of the randoms or in clan battles is going to try to attempt to do or what is the traditional style of way. Right here anytime you have a chance in any battleship you're going to try to hit the destroyers and these German new line destroyers are great with that AP, those long those long distance torps. But you're wanting to get rid of them as much as you can, especially in the French, because like I said, one of your biggest things that you need is your speed. And if they're sitting in front of you, they can use what I use also when I'm in DDs, which is a delaying tactic. And that's not what you want when you have to rely on speed. 
gonna create me a couple fires on this Missouri I switched gun type or shell type because I couldn't guarantee I was gonna get a fire he put it out I could have went ahead and came back with fire and probably caught him back on fire but here watch where I'm aiming I'm broadside enough that I don't know if my AP would go through the side perfectly for citadels but watch where I aim I try to hit the front of the turrets get me a citadel through the front and just trying to race up to the side and I love I love the ships that have all the guns to the bow where you're able to use your speed to get to get ahead and to blitzkrieg to rush here you're gonna hit on this uh, destroyer one more time just trying to wear him out I know he doesn't have a a repair party and here you're gonna start seeing what I what I mean by in the the French it's very important to have positioning but in the Jean Bart here I got my cap I have the special captain I'm gonna have a little bit one more percent uh, on my HE chance for fire I'm trying to get up next to this island I'm wanting to get to a broadside of this Azumo um, our Missouri lost a little health if he wouldn't have I would have liked to have seen him get off to the left side so we could have created a pincer move on this Azumo Bag. but uh, like I said in the French it's speed and broadsides that's what you're trying to do in these French so I'm wanting him to he has a choice he's gonna either stay bow on to me or my partner and so I'm trying to get up as far as I can to get on this broadside it didn't look like that great an angle I still got 12,000 out of it now I'm gonna stop so that he doesn't get my broadside and I know he's not gonna delete me from that position so if I can get a broadside on a cruiser that's what I'm gonna try to do right here this is Zumo he's not gonna escape I think he's trying to ram me here I get another Citadel on another cruiser I think he's trying to come up and ram I'm figuring between myself and my help from behind me that's not gonna happen right here we finish off the Zumo not a big uh, torpedo beat right there but avoiding these torps would have liked to have gotten one more shot off on this uh, cruiser but he's gonna disappear and like I said the AP on the that new German DD line is really good he's just being able to whittle me down from the side but from those earlier shots that I hit him with he's gonna become a little bit easier to kill I'm not gonna have to chase him too much already over so we in a battleship we already have over 120,000 damage we got a couple kills the games a little over eight minutes in now say I love my Musashi I have the Musashi I love her but it's definitely a different style say at the beginning of this game I would have had to hear the DD was visible but see that high velocity shells you you have less shells to shoot but with that high velocity those DDs can't dance around too much because those shells are gonna get there quick you're faster than the German shells you're you're able to hit pretty good with those but you're on the Jean Bart you only have a here the DD once again a DD thinking that he's far enough away that it's not gonna matter he can pepper me but he doesn't realize these shell the shell velocities too fast for him he's he can't sit there and let me aim at him got our number three kill but say going back to the Musashi I love the Musashi but it's a different style it's a more of what I consider the Jean Bart I consider the Jean, Jean Bart a blitzkrieg I consider 
her the blade. She has all the guns to the front. You can race forward. You can get anywhere you want on the map. In the Musashi, you're more of a blunt object, more of a hammer. Um, you're not going to be able to get around the whole map as fast. You need support against those DDs a little bit more. Um, because you can't get around the whole map, I would probably went to Bravo on this map instead of going out to the side. But since I have the speed, a lot of times, say the Jean Bart or the Dunkirk or any of the, the French battleships, I can go out to those flanks and another ship that I consider uh, misplayed is the hood. I do well in the hood. The hood has that speed faster than most of the other battleships. You can get out to that Alpha or Charlie and who's going to meet you out there? The cruisers are going to meet you out there. The hood actually has pretty decent armor and now if you go out to the side to fight a cruiser those hood guns are going to do really well. Same way as this Jean Bart. You get out to the side, it takes the battleships longer to get out there to the side with you. You're going to be able to fight cruisers one on one more often. Here we're heading over to Bravo. There's a DD in front of me, but we wore him out from earlier fire. So, right here, he thought he could get a little closer than he could. Going to finish him off also. So we're already at four kills at about 12 minutes into the match. That's the thing with the French. If you watch a lot of my videos, a lot of my French videos aren't a lot over the 10 to 12 minute mark because you're able to go through so fast and get those kills. Here we sped up till the end. Um, there was a lot of dead time just me getting some cap, or us getting some caps. Another ship stopping right in front of us, underestimating us, get to their side. Another Citadel, another kill. So we got our Kraken, we're going to end up with our three caps. But hopefully you understood um, the Blitzkrieg style that I'm uh, trying to put forth with these French. You're just speed, you reload. You, the reason people can think that the French aren't that good is you have 32 millimeter armor everywhere so people can HE spam you. But when they're HE spamming you, if you're killing them and they're in a cruiser, you're going to heal that. You can heal that damage back. You can run away with that speed booster from the battleships and go have time to heal. So in this battle here, we're going to end up with over 160,000 damage, a crack in three caps. That's what the French can do. You, but you got to get to broadsides. But you have to isolate ships and try to get them one on one. With the Jean Bart or the Richelieu or with the Dunkirk, they're perfect for that Blitzkrieg style because you have all the guns to the front. We have over a million credits. We got us uh, four citadels. If you don't get those citadels, you're going to have a challenging time because your shells are smaller in millimeter. So this is Meta underscore Man 2002. Please subscribe if you haven't already, if you like this Blitzkrieg style. Um, I like to get in, get my damage, get my kills, get my caps, get out, get to the next game. That's how you're going to um, make more money and with less amount of time needed to be used. So you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.